Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Black Millionaire. How you doing? How you been? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Malika, the founder and financial coach of Fabulous Financials, where I help Black women relieve financial stress and learn to invest so they can build wealth and live whatever they love. And today, I wanted to share with you three accounts that I think all aspiring millionaires should have. You ready? Let's get into it. The first account that I think all aspiring millionaires should have is a high yield savings account. A high yield savings account is essentially a savings account that pays a higher return than a regular savings account at a bank. Now, most of the banks that offer high yield savings accounts, they're usually online banks. So without the brick and mortar location, without all the overhead, the bank has incentives to offer a higher yield on their savings. Because when you put your savings with that bank, they're paying you that higher yield, not because they're doing you any favors, it's because they're gonna take your money and invest it and make more than the yield that they're giving you. <laughs> and many people use the high yield savings account for their emergency fund. It doesn't necessarily have to be for emergencies. It could be a fund that you're using to save for the holidays for the end of the year. It could be to save for your next major vacation that you uh, plan to go on with your girlfriends. So whatever savings you have, make sure you put that money in a high yield savings account. If you do have an emergency fund, which you should, at least three to six months of your expenses, you definitely want to make sure that's in a high yield savings account. And right now, um, because the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates a lot lately, so rates are going up. So you're going to see the rates continue to go up on savings accounts as well. But right now, you should be able to find a savings account that's paying at least 3.5%. Some banks off the top of my head that I know are paying around that much is Alley Bank, um, Capital One, and... Um, Marcus, it's a, it's a bank um, that's owned by Goldman Sachs. So at least those three banks, I know for sure, are paying at least uh, above 3% for their high yield savings accounts. The third account that every aspiring millionaire should have is a Roth IRA. A Roth IRA is an individual retirement account that you control. This is separate from your 401k. And there's two different types of IRAs, but I am speaking about a Roth IRA. And that is the account that you put money in after you've already paid taxes on it. And then the money compounds and grows over the years and all of the growth is tax-free. Now, you cannot access the growth until after age 59 and a half, but I love the Roth IRA because it's a tax efficient way to start growing your wealth. And the third account that every aspiring millionaire should have, and I leave this for last because not everyone has access to it, but if you do through your employer, your 401k, or your 403B if you work for a nonprofit or whatever the equivalent is in your career field. You should have a 401k and you should be contributing at least the employer's match. So if you have access to a 401k, make sure you're contributing at least the employer's match. Now the match is different from the max. The match is if you put in 3%, for example, and your employer matches 3%, then you're contributing up to your employer's 
match. If you don't know what your employer will match, then call your HR person and ask them. Um, but make sure you're contributing at least up to the match that your employer will give you. And the reason why you want to contribute that match is so you can get that free money. That free money is part of your total compensation package. So your salary is not the only thing that your employer pays you. Your employer pays you by giving you other benefits as well. And if you are not taking advantage of those benefits, you're leaving money on the table, sis. So if you have access to a 401k at your employer and your employer matches a certain amount that you put in, make sure you put in that entire amount that your employer is willing to match because that's an immediate 100% return on your money. Yes. <laughs> So those are the three accounts that every millionaire should have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe too while you're down there. <laughs> That's all I have for today. And until next time, bye for now.